Hey guys, get level here. I am still sick, so I don't feel like being on camera. But today we're going to be talking about Touch Portal, which is an app that you can download both on your desktop and your phone to use your mobile device as a stream deck, as a macro keyboard, if you will. Now, I've been hearing about this particular app since I made my video about uh, five DIY stream deck alternatives and I'm finally getting to actually using it. So the first thing I did is go to touchportal.com. So that's touch-portal.com. And everything is pretty much self-explanatory. What I really wanted to do is figure out how many buttons can you have and, and what are the functions that you can have? Because we all know that the, the original Stream Deck from Elgato has uh, scripts and stuff like that where you can send tweets. And it's really what makes the Stream Deck powerful there's also folders and stuff like that so we're gonna be doing some sort of comparison so of course after reading through everything on the website i decided to download it so i downloaded it for windows installed it and once i was done installing it i opened up the program so on the right side is where you can set up your grid size now if you're using the free version you can only get a four by two or two by four uh, grid size which is already pretty cool you can customize the background so that's interesting then to customize the buttons, all you have to do is click on them. So on the left side, you can add actions, basically choose what the buttons will do. And on the right side, you can customize said button. I really love the UI here. It's quite intuitive. I did not watch any tutorials before even testing it. So I just installed it and it's my first time trying it. Now here comes the impressive part is all the actions that are already pre-built without needing to go through some loops to get them to work so in the run section you can start an application run a batch file run a shortcut open a folder run a powershell script in navigation which is going to be through your browser you can open a page you can go to a specific page like home or you can open a specific url for example you can use that for your dashboard an in input you can either type text so if you want to type something in chat for example or or wherever you can type like a whole paragraph and have that set up to just one key and then of course you can have the key press under utility you'll have a timer you can lock your computer you can shut down your computer um, i wouldn't advise adding this <laughs> if you accidentally press it media function play audio stop audio you know you know what that is volume up volume down blah 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 and then this was quite impressive because they already have obs settings in there where you can select scenes uh, source selection you can set the volume you can start recording start streaming it's like i was pretty surprised that there's already obs integration in there now not only there was obs integration there was also xsplit and streamlabs obs so it, it's pretty cool that they're keeping up to date with the new programs same thing there's a lot of things that are already in there but but if you're using obs studio or streamlabs obs you can set up shortcuts to do more specific things it's just cool that you already have a list that is already big thin so you don't have to customize anything you just click and then your button is ready to go to select your scene or stop streaming or start streaming it's quite interesting and then that was another surprise the whole twitter thing you can set up your your buttons to send a tweet for example when you're going live i did not think that was possible with like a free program but it, it is it's awesome and on twitch you actually have a bunch of twitch options too you can send a chat message you can clear chat you can set a stream marker which is good for um compilations create clip you can put emote only mode followers only mode sub only modes <laughs> slow chat and all of that which is quite quite impressive okay so when it comes to customizing you can create your own button well you can type your own button text always useful you don't have to rely on whatever image you're gonna put there you can set the text alignment to be top middle or bottom you can set the background color you can set the text color too you can decide to have a transparent background so only the text will show up you can switch between round and cor rounded corners or just straight rectangle uh and when it comes to changing icons you can either get from their own pre-installed icon pack it's quite useful or you can of course uh, get your own icons I believe Nerd or Die has a, a pack for the Stream Deck. I don't know if it would work with this, probably. So you can even get some Stream Deck icons. As you can see here, I'm uploading a, a emote that I have just to see how it looks. And it looks pretty good. And my text is still gonna be on top of it. And since it's in and since it's a transparent image, I still have the text on top of it and I still have the custom background. 
behind it so I can still change the color of the background if I want. Now I know you guys are thinking, can I add animated uh, icons? And from what I've seen, you cannot. From what I've seen, I, maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, please let me know. So here I go on the left again, just to see what it looks like when you want to actually add the, the the customization to see what it looks like when you're gonna add the actions basically you click on it and it will ask you uh the specifics of the action so there's a little button on top to let you know what it's gonna look like in portrait mode on your mobile device so uh, in that case if you're using your phone i think it's mostly like the free version is mostly for your phone just because of that restriction of four by two or two by four uh, you're not gonna have a ton of buttons when it's free so might as well use it um, with your phone so here i took a look at uh, the settings you can change the language you can start it with windows there's some visualization options and this is where you would connect your twitter account and underneath that is where you would connect your twitch account so now that i was done with the desktop app it was time for me to download it on my phone so i went on the app store and i well the play store and I downloaded uh, the app. It was a fast download. And then you have this, and then there's the home telling you everything that's gonna happen. Basically, it's going to try to connect with your computer. If you're on Wi-Fi, I believe, it's just, you're on the same network. You're on the same internet network, so it will find it super fast. So once you're done, you just click okay, and your buttons will appear already. So you can see top, you actually have a home button, you have a refresh button, and then the cogwheel for the settings. The refresh button is really important because once you add some changes to your desktop app, this is where you will tap in order to refresh to have the new buttons, basically. So I checked out the settings and um, there wasn't anything really interesting except for one particular option. It was the vibrate on touch. Now I've read the forums, apparently not every phone works with that option, but it's it's pretty cool to have this little tiny option that makes you feel like, hey, okay, you're pressing something right now. I didn't flip my phone to see how it would look like in um, landscape mode, and it looked pretty good. It looks pretty much exactly how it looks on the desktop. I then went back to my desktop to customize it a little bit uh, more at this time I didn't even realize that I only had uh, four by two on the free version so so I didn't added a bunch of buttons just to test the four by two or two by four and see what it would look like on my phone and it actually it looks pretty good I really love the look of it love how you can customize uh, the buttons and even the background of the whole interface now let's talk about the price and then the pros and cons the pros obviously um, you can get it for free. <laughs> That's a big pro right there. You can get it for free. So you're going to have two pages, basically two profiles, if you will, uh, two times four by two. You can have it portrait or landscape. It's compatible with Mac and Windows. Okay. Not a lot of programs do that. You can import and export pages if, if that's something you want to do. You have unlimited actions. You have no ads at all on the free version. So that's cool. That's not like some cheap. Uh, <laughs> That's not like some random app you'll download and have a bunch of ads. So you have no ads, okay? But if you get the paid version, you get all of that, of course, all of the above and unlimited pages. So unlimited profiles, custom button layouts per page. So each page you can have whatever size grid you want. And this is where it, get, it gets interesting. You can have a maximum of 110 buttons per page page with the full version which is so many buttons but hey <laughs> if that's your thing go for it you know and then of course there is the fact that i this is not a subscription base pay this is you pay once and you have the full application so basically you have a 110 stream deck for about nine bucks and then of course you have access to all the future updates and everything you just get the full the full app for about nine bucks now they say that the price may vary per country per state i'm in france and i have it for 9.99 euros so that's more expensive uh in france but it's still less than 10 euros so if your goal is to get a couple of buttons to get started and you already have a mobile device why not start 
with a free version basically so four by two you test it out and if that's something you're interested in and you feel like you need more maybe go for the full version either way the free version is amazing the full version is also amazing and i believe it's like one of the cheapest that you can get uh, that does all those things that it does i read the q a section real quick and they are taking into account suggestions so they will be adding more features in the future and i've heard very good things about the devs i've i've heard they're very good people so that's that's always a plus but that's pretty much all i have to say about it uh if you have any questions make sure that you try it first okay it's free so all you have to do is install it try it out and if you still have questions uh leave them in the comment section below or you can also go on the forums and, and ask the devs directly. I have no real affiliation with them, so I only have the, the same information that you have. There's probably a bunch of features. There's probably a bunch of features that I went through and that I forgot in this video. So that's why you actually trying it out is very important uh, before even asking the questions. I've only installed it today and I've only been using it today. So with that being said, I'm not holding you any longer. <laughs> So there it is, your own macro keyboard with either free version with about 8 keys per page or 110 keys per page if you decide to pay less than $10. And that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Go out there, make me proud. Invisible Guy Level, out.